today we are talking about a very cool app called D-Minder. Disclaimer here, not a promotion, I don't know these people and I paid the full $1.99 for this app. So a little backstory, about this time last year I had my labs done and my vitamin D came back at a whopping 21. Now, generally, the acceptable range for vitamin D is between 30 and 100. So, here's what we did. Weather and schedule permitting, I went outside every day between 30 minutes, more like an hour every day just to soak up some rays. I did wear a hat most days, but I did keep my arms and legs uncovered as much as possible. I've input last year's vitamin D levels and diligently been tracking my sun exposure for the last few months. We'll compare the results of my actual blood test to D-Minder's prediction. When you first fire up the app, you're going to put in your latitude as well as your skin color. Your skin color will tell the app how much melanin is in your skin, which affects how much vitamin D you can absorb. Where you are in the world and what time of year it is will dictate if you can get vitamin D at what times, if at all. Here is our home screen. We've plugged in where I live, which is Oakland, California. I can see the week ahead, the UV index is pretty high. You'll see it in red here. And I am given the window in which my body can make vitamin D. So logging vitamin D is easy. You can add vitamin D if you're taking it from a supplement standpoint or adding a sun session. When you add a sun session, you can type in the time that you started, the time that you ended, the amount of clouds in the sky, and how much skin is exposed. They have a guide here. However, one of the things that I feel detracts from some of the possible accuracy of this app is that the amount of skin I have exposed with short sleeves and shorts is very different than the short sleeves and shorts my dad would wear, for example. So. Uh, it's a little bit questionable how much is the percentage to plug in here. Felt the same way for the overcast features. So you can see you choose between the skies behind thin clouds, thick clouds, and it ranges there from 10% to 80. If I had a suggestion, I'd say put in a picture. Help me understand what thin versus thick means and what is in the middle. So once you save a session, you can find it on the history tab, which will record all of your sun sessions and how much vitamin D you got per session. You can also see in the reports tab, an estimate of your D blood level, the total D measured today and the past seven days, 30 days and the past 90 days based on whatever goal you decide to set for yourself. And now to put this app to the test, about this time last year, my vitamin D came in at a very sad 21. So the D-Minder app has me estimated at 44. And here are my latest labs from three days ago. This is great. So I'm actually at 39. I am in the green. This is huge. Thanks to D-Minder for helping make sure I get an adequate amount of vitamin D. Because I will say in getting more vitamin D, I'm feeling a lot better these days. So get out there, read a book, get some sunshine. If you're worried about skin cancer, you should probably just talk to your doctor. And that is it for this episode. D-Minder, we'll put a link to the app below. It is $1.99 and I think it's worth every penny. Leave a comment below if you like this episode or leave a suggestion as to other topics I should cover in the future. Thanks for watching.